Hi there, this is just following along from my last tutorial on um, preparing the topo overlay for a digitizing a geological map. In this tutorial I'd like to cover an alternate method for clipping the data frame in ArcGIS. Uh, but first I want to introduce this idea of uh, the two modes that you can draw graphics in in ArcGIS. Um, so if you're going if you want to bring up the drawing toolbar, so you can bring that up by customize toolbars draw. Um, and what we're going to do is a polygon. Now when you draw a polygon in layout view, it's just kind of like drawing um, an extra, just like drawing plain graphics. So you notice I can just move it around and if I decide to pan my map this graphics just sits outside of the data frame so it's not tied geographically at all. Um, so if I just delete that one. Now when I go into data view and start drawing a polygon and this one I'm going to match up for what I want my data frame to look like. Right there to there, up to there, and up to there, and uh, no, you can just press enter to finish drawing that, or you can double click. Um, now with this graphic, when I pan around, you can see it's actually tied to the geographic is geographically tied so it's tied to location so you can see here it's it's um, even if I pan in this one it's still tied there so it's drawn within the data frame you can think of it as um, so in order to get it for the clipping you do need to do it in data view so now that we've done that we can go to properties uh, sorry, first off you want to make sure you should probably do this in data view, select it, go to the data frame properties, choose clip to shape, specify shape, and then outline of selected graphics, because that's different to the other method. And we go OK, apply, OK. Now you notice here that it's drawing over top of it. Now you might think that you can just fix this by simply getting rid of the fill, but we are actually getting, we're losing something else here. We're losing the labels. So even if you have just a, an, a polygon drawn with no fill, it still disrupts the labeling. So what we need to do is we've actually got the graphics element selected now. We just press delete. And so that deletes that uh, graphics that we use for clipping. It'll still be clipped, it's just that we need to get rid of that. So that's, uh, that kind of is a bit weird. But, um, another thing I'll notice here is that the scales change by my kind of zooming in and out, so I'll just fix that back up to 1 to 5000, and that's the ultimate method. Uh, in the next tutorial I'll cover uh, the, the sort of export settings that you want to go through and that sort of thing. Uh, thanks very much.